Hello everyone, welcome to the day in the life of the Object Paranormal. I'm Lost Pinswell, welcome to my channel. Today is now May 31st. Yes, it is moving day. Uh, right now, uh, uh, it's pretty early in the morning. There's a bunch of cars going by right now. It's kind of early in the morning, that's why I'm sitting in the darkness a little bit. And there's all kinds of cars going around because you know, today's a school day, it's a work day, and stuff like that. It's only 9.04 right now. Um, my cousin's telling me, you know, he's going to be starting around uh, 10 o'clock. So I thought maybe I'd get this video log done before I go there. It's the only video log there and then blah, 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 you know. Um, hopefully the camera is, you know, recording. It's a little bit of a uh, uh, crookedness. It's kind of crooked this way, but it's, uh, you know, the uh, uh, just stack part, you know, kind of dipping down on one side, I guess, because so the water washes off and they're the snow or the rain and stuff like that. But um when I was video logging the other day it was over over that way. So this gazebo is not too far from that area. <clears throat> um so it's gonna be a nice day. It's a little chilly right now because it's morning, you know. Like I said it's only it's only nine oh five right now. So I got like uh, roughly this time to do a video log and then get over there and be prepared. I had some hard sleep. Did the back massage thing. You now my back's feeling the you know not a hundred percent, but it's better than it was the other day. So uh, nobody really sitting around in the park right now. I don't see any bikers or joggers in like that. There's a lot of cars going by today again. It's because it's early in the morning. You know people getting either dropping their kids off at school or uh, just coming back from dropping their kids to school. You know they're going to take their you know, they'll go to work. And then they got to take their cars and stuff like that. So it's pretty early in the morning right now. I mean, it's not, it's it's earlier than most. Well, it's earlier than lately blog, vlogs. The vlogs. Um. So again, I'm traveling on bike, and then get my little, my little bike time, and then uh, wherever he's moving to, I'm gonna make sure I load on the bike last, and then have that ready, and then I get a ride. You know, I mean, I ride I ride back on bike, wherever it's at. Uh, so I'm only like 15 minutes from him right now. So even when I get this video log done within this half hour and then 15 minutes after that, you know, I'll be closer to 10 o'clock anyway. So today is May 31st. There's still another day until it hits June. Um, not a bad location. Tweety birds are out. Uh, squirrels are scavenging around for whatever. They're looking forward to see a bunch of them in the grass there. So I'm going to be getting this video log done and then I'm going to be heading out here on bike and then going to see my cousin. Uh, I'm not even too sure if, he, if either one of them really watching my videos. But, you know, it's whatever on that, I guess. Uh, I got a text earlier. I, actually, no, I got a text while I was on bike asking him if I'm coming soon. And now I'm going to send him a text and say, hey, everything's cool. I'm on my way. I'm doing a video log right now. Let's do. People like to call and text me while I'm doing video log. It's it's odd. Like nothing could be going on in my day. As soon as I get busy, either gaming or doing video log or dishes, that's when I get a phone call or I get a text message or people ringing at my damn doorbell. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, do a text message here. <coughs> yeah. So I just let them know that I'm on my way. Uh, you know, I'm going video log right now. No, I, actually what I said is like, I'm awake, uh, left on bike, going to video log, catch you there. That's exactly what I said. So, uh, I think today is Tuesday. Yeah, today is Tuesday. Get back home, do my litter box and recycling and garbage. I'll try to get that out tonight for tomorrow instead of me waking up in the morning but sometimes I'm up still and even in the morning or I'm not sleeping that good and now I'll wake up in the morning so looks like a busy morning with these cars you know they're going to go get their either drop off their kids or going off to work it's only a Tuesday it's this loud So I don't know, I'm just doing a video log in the park and uh, you know, you guys uh, are here and uh, viewing me and 
Trump's about to marry me. I know this is not a bad location to review the video log. There's a smell of pigeon shit in here. It smells like pigeon shit out here. Maybe there's probably just a fertilizer, you know, in these things, but, you know, gotta deal with it. So, you know, they're doing all the different gardens around here, and, uh, you know, things are looking all right. Things are looking pretty good. More leaves here and there. Um, I'm not too sure about these bushes, though. They're not really got that many leaves yet. Like I said, you know, I'm here, new location, well, same location uh, area as yesterday, but a different location spot. This is not a bad place at all. I mean, I, I haven't been in this place in, I don't know, three years, I guess, two, three years. But sometimes when I go to visit my cousin, I'll pass by this place. And I never really actually sat in and done a video log. And I'm hoping I'm still recording, and I'll know if I'm not recording, the thing will shut off. And if it shuts off, then I won't be able to continue the video log, because I'll be, have to get out of here and then do, um, you know, do the moving. Um, not 100% uh, gung-ho on someone's moving, but it's not going to be a lot of stuff. The only thing that's really heavy is the couch, the uh, half-size freezer, and his t uh, TV. I think it's his 50-inch TV, I think. I think that's what it is. 50, 51 inch TV. But anyway, uh, I'm awake, you know. Had some more sleep. No, it's better, a little better than the night before, anyway, or the other day before. I don't know, maybe do a little recap of yesterday after I did the video log. Uh, um, I went, yeah, I went to visit my cousins. He already started the barbecue. He's already got the barbecue going. Uh, you know, uh, not really a lot of barbecue. He said he said he's gonna try to save it for today. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some barbecue today. Uh, if it is, uh, I'm gonna find a, try to find a, uh, a part in this at the end of this video, and I'm gonna cut a good chunk off of it. Maybe when I hit this halfway point, maybe I'll just cut off the halfway point. And I'll redo the uh, the last part of the video. But that's like that's 14 minutes of cut off. I'm probably gonna do a, a five minute video. Okay. I meant you know today's you know today's the 31st. I'm going to be probably doing a little bit of uh, chopping this video, stuff like that. I'm gonna do a little bit of chopping uh, to try to fit a five minute video in. But even even said, I mean I'll probably just incorporated it at the end of this video and it'll be like 35 minutes big deal you know i try to keep it at the 30 minute mark and under uh the, the, the norm about people if they're into uh you know big time vloggers i'm not a big time vloggers but anybody watches the big time vloggers and they'll sit there for 25 to 30 minutes but the norm is usually uh five uh, 15 minutes as low as five minutes <laughs> so um let's see a lot of the video, uh, YouTube videos are like like five minutes long. Yeah, my camera's still live. YouTube about five minutes long, uh, ten minutes or at least to that, and you do a lot of like quick ten minutes of vlogs. That means you know they got a lot more videos they can do. You know, they got a lot more videos they can do in, in their day. Um, sometimes some people do like three thirty-minute videos. I mean that's that's a lot. Even four four minute or four thirty-minute videos. That's two hours of vlogging one day. That's a lot because you got a lot of you got to upload that, you got to edit it, you got to submit it out, and you know the norm. Uh, you know, if, if anybody who's a, a you know a big time vlogger will have it for 30 minutes, and then some people will sit there all the way through. If it gets boring, it's like some of the videos get boring. I'll just skip through it and it's like blah 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 blah. And most people will probably only sit there for around 15 minutes to watch a normal video. And some people was like, oh, this is only five minutes. I'll stay here for five minutes and then go on to another video uh, of somebody else and stuff like that. I got another text message back. I'm not answering it right now. 
just saying, just, just, he's asking me a question, but, oh. okay, that's another text message, whatever, um, this is not the way till I get, get there, so, uh, like, a lot of people, they, when they do YouTube videos, uh, if they're uh, well known, they'll do it up to 30 minutes, uh, video, gaming, gaming videos are up to like two hours, some are up to three hours if they're well known. But people like me, uh, uh, I mean, I'm lucky if anybody watches it for two hours. I think when I hit my 100th video on uh, my gaming channel, I'm going to just do only an hour at a time. So an hour, hour of videos each, I mean, people will probably sit there and watch that. And then I'll do another hour for that day. So I'll do two different video logs for uh, my gaming channel. I'm getting closer to the 100 uh, video mark now, and I, I think I am. I've never really checked. I don't. I probably am. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'm close to it. I'm not really thinking about it that now. I'm just doing a video log for you guys. I got you know, a little bit of a busy day right now. Got to hit it now. You guys, it could take me between an hour to six hours. It all depends on how much my cousin has packed. Uh. It all depends on how much uh, is, is packed. If he's if he's all packed up and ready to go, then we're moving fast. But if he's got certain things that need to be still be packed, and we're packing as we move, then it's going to take longer. You know, it's it's whatever that's going to happen on his end. Uh, you know, we already talked about two to, two to three weeks in advance that he should be packed up, and we shouldn't have to pack anything. You know, I'm pretty sure he's got a majority of stuff that is packed and in box, and you know, things to be stacked. Sometimes dirty clothes are clothes because he's throwing the bag. Big deal. He doesn't really own that much. It's just a little bit time consuming. And he's he's hoping for the ten people to show up. I told him I said good luck. You might even get five people. You'd be lucky to have five people to show up. So say if you got ten people showing up, one with a bad knee, and he's not going to be that much help. So nine solid people plus him, things will go really quick. If there is going to be five people, maybe minus the friend with the bumped leg, then there's six solid people. No problem in that. Still six people is good. But if you got like ten people, that's more barbecue, more drinks, more people to get in, in, in each other's way to get the job done really fast. But the six people, you can still get the job done fast. If you know exactly what you're doing and how you're going to, uh, what you're going to bring to the uh, truck. To get it moved and then off the truck on the other end it shouldn't take that long at all so the last thing should probably be the barbecue and uh, my bike uh, I don't really like that idea because uh, you know whoever's driving is going around corners not barbecue is going to slide I don't want that barbecue crashing into my bike so I don't know I'm going to probably have something in between that maybe uh, a couple bags or something then the, then the barbecue will topple over and crash in the bike. Just think of that now. Here's the last thing will be something in the barbecue and tools and lawnmower and stuff like that or whatever whatever needs to be thrown on that truck. Um, so like I said, I'm motivated. I'm ready to get this done and you know get uh, my day done. Uh, it's a little chilly right now only because I'm sitting in the, in the shade. And the sun is out there, and um, you guys can probably really even tell what the, what the sun is like in some of my videos. And you know, sometimes it's on my face. Sometimes it's on my face, you know, and sometimes it's behind me, sometimes it's beside me, sometimes it's above me. But you know, um, I don't know, I'm going to answer this uh, text in just a minute or so. Well, in a few seconds, because I'm just about at my halfway point here. So if you guys could stay tuned for the other half of the video. Well, you could probably tell that I did uh, do the halfway point of this video because I needed to answer a text message. I got one text message after sending him one, and then he texted me back and then asked a question, and then he texted again a, a few question marks. Wondering when I'm going to be here, and I said, I'm just finishing up a video log. So, he's got to be patient. What the hell was that? What the hell? That's only a, like a two year old baby. 
screaming that loud. That's weird. The baby's laughing and screaming and dancing around in the grass. Mm. Oh, that's across the park, though. I mean, I'm not too far into the park. I'm on the concrete part. So anyway, continuous video log. My camera is still alive. That's good. Um, one person walked by. He's doing. It looked like a gardener. He had some garden gloves on. And then there was another guy who was sitting up there. Uh, not up there. I mean, over there. And he's uh, on the phone looking at me. On the phone looking at me. And, you know, if you got, I don't mind the people who check it out what I'm doing. But just have to sit there and stare. Come on. And it just got a little noisy again too. Different cars went by. So I'm gonna continue this video log for my viewers. And you know, I'll get it up when I get it up, you know. Okay, um, let's get on track here. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't know, I think I was talking about gaming videos. Making sure I get, the, oh, uh, how long do you, uh, certain videos, like my videos are only 30 minutes long. And I probably already said all this before, but I'm gonna try to get a conversation going. Make it some, somewhat interesting here. Um, some people will probably watch this video uh, um, sometimes all the way through if it's interesting to them. A lot of people don't really sit and watch 30 minute videos unless it is really a, a well known vlogger and it's interesting to them. Whatever kind of elements in their video is interesting to that viewer. So, like I'm saying, it's like uh, my, my game video log, I think I'm close to 100. Uh, after that, I'm going to do. I'm going to break it down to one hour each just to make sure that I get videos in there uh, that are clear not going to be glitchy and crapped out halfway through or at the beginning or at the end or whatever. It's usually at the end or halfway through. If I'm doing a two hour video halfway through that video it just messes up and it's just crap, crap, crap. Sometimes at the end of the video it craps out. Not my fault. It is the Twitch, uh, Twitch's fault. Because on their end, it's something gone to crap. But I don't know if uh, I don't know. I don't think it's my internet. I don't I believe that it's not my internet? Because I usually reset my internet and I reset my computer. Uh, sometimes we set the uh, the game and the computer uh, different times and to make sure I get the video log clear for my viewers. Um. So I don't know, do a little recap of yesterday still, I don't know, after that video, you know, came to visit the cousin, uh, a little bit light barbecue, there's going to be a bigger barbecue today, uh, he's got drinks ready, he showed me what he's got, he's got drinks ready, he's got barbecue, we're going to be uh, cooking up today, oh, at the end of the day anyway, um, he's going to have other kind of snacks in case we need it, I don't even think we really need those little bits of snacks he's got that, little snack tray he got, I don't think he really needs that because it's not really that big a move. I don't think really there's going to be a lot of that lot of people going to be, um, you know, going to be there. But but I hope that one of the drivers for him is going to be there because him driving the truck or me driving the truck to a certain location, I mean, that's not that bad. But I know my camera's still alive. Okay. It's not that bad because I don't know, I'm a driver. I, I'm not a big full driver. You know, I don't drive the streets off and on, like off and on. Mostly just reserve. But for me to drive a truck from one location to another, that is. I don't know. I could probably do it if I have to. I know he's never drove in any kind of vehicle, but hopefully he's got a driver. I'm pretty sure he shouldn't have a driver because how is he going to get a truck to there and then, uh, you know, to the next location? But anyway, uh, that said. Hopefully he gets the people that he needs to help him up today. Uh, he's a little bit anxious, you know. Um, after this video log, I'm going to be, let's see. I'm going to have like 5 or 10 minutes left until 10 o'clock. Because he's going to have that truck there at his house. If he doesn't have it now, he's going to have it there at his house. And, you know, uh, things start around uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, he could start around 9, but uh, like right now it's kind of a little bit uh, chilly in the shade. So it's a little cooler in the daytime. It doesn't really warm up until it hits about noon, guys. So for us being there around 9 or 10, it's like uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, it, actually, that's not, it wouldn't be that bad if I'm not, you know. I brought a jacket just in case uh, it's going to rain or something like that. There is a few clouds here and there, but if it's going to, you know, get a big, mad, vast amount of clouds, and if it's going to be raining, I do got my jacket with me just in case. 
only because the, af the afternoon, evening, you know, afternoon, oh, sorry, between noon and afternoon is when it's used the hottest, but when it dips down to uh, dark, dark time, it's going to be cooler. So just in case, there's going to be a lot of clouds, uh, you know, later this afternoon, and then it's going to be cloudy at nighttime, it's going to be a little bit more chillier. So, you know, that's, that's the way it is. You know, we're going to have some warm days, we're going to have some cool days, you know. But it's mostly just warm days. It's mostly all of April. I'm telling you, all of April is nothing but like a lot of uh, clouds. A lot of clouds, lots of rain. But, you know, the weather right now is good. Like you said, it's kind of cool right now because I'm sitting in the shade. Uh, I'll just show you after 9. Getting the video to done for you guys. I don't want to fill up when I wear my jacket because I don't don't live. I want you guys to know to, to think that I'm you know video logging with a jacket on, thinking you no, know, it's cold here. Uh, you know it is. You know it is Canada. It's going to be we're going to have cooler temperature than it is in California and Florida. California and Florida right now are probably blistering hot. If the ecosystem hasn't shifted over and it'd be cooler there. I mean, it wouldn't be all unheard of if that happens because the uh, double El Nino. I mean, people say El Nino, but I'm saying double El Nino because I'm getting prepared for this this summer. It's going to get hot. I got to invest in some uh, uh, skin skin tan, um, either sunblock or suntan lotion. Probably a little bit of both, really. Um, USA now. I want to be prepared if I'm gonna be out in heat. I, try, I don't. I don't like to be out in heat any more than 30 degrees. I'm gonna try to work myself up to it, but it, my body just can't handle the heat. The heart can't handle. I mean, I, I know that if I say that my heart's not really that good, but I want to make sure. I mean, it's not going to be as bad as it did before, like months and year or two before. It was really bad. But me being on a bike and me doing stuff in my life, instead of being me and depressed and taking medications for my hidden uh, hidden problems, I'm not going to say diseases or sicknesses, it's hidden problems. I take, you know, my medication, stay on bike, keep myself active, lose, still continue to lose that weight, and, you know, keep my heart as, uh, you know, stronger than it, it, it was. If I can keep my heart going, uh, keep and uh, even get stronger and stuff like that. But what I'm getting at is, I, my body can't heat, handle heat. I'm trying to handle heat. Uh, I got some more, uh, hot days, got some warm days, lots of warm days right now. As soon as it hits June, like uh, June 20th, June 20, uh, 22nd, it's gonna get hot. It's gonna get like three times hotter than now. And I'm gonna try to make sure that my body actually uh, is ready for uh, the heat. Like I said, I'm gonna to try to be out here at you now uh, plus 30 weather. When it goes from between plus 30 to plus 40, I'm gonna to try not to be out here. I'll be indoors where it's somewhat cool if it's you no know, uh, central air or AC or a cool basement, something other than the heat, because I don't need another heart attack or another stroke or anything like that. If I get another stroke, there's always that 50 50 chance that. Some of my body might even shut down because it'll happen. My mindset and body and you know, stuff like that, because of the many, many strokes I've had, and throughout my not throughout my life, but you know, not so recent, but you know, I've had many uh, strokes to the heart, and I've had these strokes uh, starting when I was like 18, 19, around 20. I've had a sunstroke. That's 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 that one stroke, and then you know. Whatever's going on in my life, sometimes I'll have a little stroke because of uh, you know, the way my life is going and me to being depressed and stuff like that. But you know, I did take my medication today. You know, I just took it, out, took it, out, took it before going to my cousin's because I'm going to get a drink in that end, you know, and probably a little snack or something. Like that. I'm not really worried about you know breakfast right now. I'm worried about you know lunchtime and uh, between lunchtime supper that barbecue. That barbecue is going to be good. You know, I'm going to be ready for it. I'm going to work my butt off, even if it's you know a lot of. A lot of moving, whatever, you know. But I'm not going to try to stress myself. I'm not going to, you know, hurt my back. I'm not going to, you know, you know, overwork the heart. 
One day, I was uh, helping a friend move a patio stone. That was, it was not that bad on my back. But after move one and two, and then I slowed down. I got halfway through three. He goes, what, what's wrong? You gotta give me a minute, man. My heart's just racing right now. Oh, he goes, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I shouldn't be moving patio stones with them a back problem. You know, that's one of the reasons why, you know, my back's a little bit sore, because a, a bunch of days ago, I moved patio stones, helping the, the friend, you know, hard not helping with the uh, garden and, and uh, you know, landscape and stuff like that. And he was doing a little outside gym, and he put some patio stones down. I mean, he smoothed out the thing and then throw some patio stones down. But anyway, regardless of how far I, what it, how far I moved it or how hot, heavy the patio stone is, I shouldn't do it with my back because that's why my back is also sore too. And, you know, I'm ready for today. Um, to, you know, get a move on and stuff. I'm going to just wrap this up right now. If you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe to me. You know, you guys know what the like button and subscribe is. I'm going to share this video on your channel. My benefit you, you might benefit me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. There's a lot of people who probably would be interested in videos like mine. I thank you for viewing this video one time a day you guys have watched it. I hope you all have a nice day with tomorrow evening night. But until next time, I will see you. Well, hey, look at that. Somebody's got a barbecue going. Oh, yeah, look at those delicious burgers. Mmm, mmm. Flame grilled burgers. You can hear it sizzling. You can see that just glistening. Smells good. Man, these burgers are going to be really tasty with some cheese and relish, some mustard. There's even some hot dogs here, too. Hot dogs are looking pretty good. These are just your regular burgers. They're probably better than McDonald's. They're not going to be uh, having any human meat in there. Yeah, some delicious burgers. Mmm. Would have got another vlog, but I forgot to take a uh, video of it. There was sausages on this side, and there was burgers and hot dogs. But these look so good. I bet you they're going to taste really good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at that. Delicious burgers. They're flaming up just right, too. Get rid of some of that flame. Man, oh man. Delicious burgers. Can hardly wait. It's gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. Look at those burgers. Got some great grill marks on them. So good. Well, that is it for now. We're going to be having these burgers pretty soon. Bye.